Hi, your face to face with Shell. I call this video I'm okay with my scars and I want to give you a couple of instances where I truly was. As I've said before, I'm quite a number of years now into my journey and I am really quite comfortable who I am, the, the scars I have. But obviously this wasn't the case all the time or at the start of my journey and in other videos I, I talk about that. But I want to talk about the times when instances happened and I, I was okay and I want to sort of show you that by telling you a, a couple of stories. I have worked in the NHS for 30 years before I started doing um, this website and my YouTube channel and obviously I came across lots of different people and there was one woman, uh, I had quite a, a few dealings with her, not seen on a daily basis but I had quite a few dealings with her, I absolutely loved her, she was, she was a really great character, she was one of the patients that would come into our offices and one day she was having a conversation with me and she told me that my nose had been burnt off. Now, quite clearly it hasn't. I mean, it is still there. <laughs> so I tried to explain to her that, no, it hadn't been burnt off, it was still there. And she was adamant it was. She went, it is, it's burnt off. And eventually after a bit of explaining, she did take that my nose was still there. I did tell her, however, though, that I was very lucky to be alive because obviously, as I've said before, two people had died in the explosion. So once I said, yes, I am very lucky to be alive, she went, there you go then, and off she marched. And I just had a, a laugh to myself. I thought, absolutely brilliant. There was a nurse standing beside me, though, and she was absolutely horrified that this had happened and she asked me if I was okay and I said I'm absolutely fine I actually <laughs> I thought it quite funny you know it's just the way she said you know when I said that I'd, I was lucky to be alive because people had died and she said well there you go then <laughs> and away she went very very sweet of the nurse it really really was there was another time I was working with children and on my first day on the job, one of the managers came in and she had explained to me that, you know, kids can come out with things that they don't mean or they don't really think about what they're saying. And I'm like, yeah, I know I've been living with this since I was 13. I'm quite aware of what kids can do. It was, again, really sweet of her to think of me and what might happen. Maybe not in the open office with about 20 other people standing about, um, but it was very kind of her. And the thing was, actually, none of the children ever said a word to me about anything. Another instance, and this was very early in my journey, um, and because I think I accepted what happened to my face quite early on, my hand, as I've spoken about before, was a completely different matter. But my face, I, I did actually, I accepted it very quickly. I accepted it in hospital, how it looked. Not long after discharge, I was in my mum and dad's house and an insurance salesman had come in and he was asking how I was doing. And I said, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. I'm getting along good. And he said, yes, until you look in the mirror. But me and my mum turned round and went, no, not at all. I don't know, maybe he just didn't know what to say and he just blurted something out. But we, we were quite, no, no, actually, I'm, I'm fine. And my mum absolutely agreed with me. I think to sum up, what I'm trying to say is, there is a point in your journey that you will become quite comfortable in who you are, your scars. Now, this, this might take years, it might take a lot of years, it might take a few years, and then maybe not so many years. Everyone is absolutely different, everyone is going through their own journey, and no one can say when it will happen for you or when you should 
be comfortable in who you are. It is your journey and it will take you as long as it takes. Thank you very much once again for watching and thank you once again to my subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, it would be really greatly appreciated if you would. And if you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. I do have a website and I will put a link in the description to this video to the website. Please head over there. As I've said before, there's lots more information. There's lots more to come. Again, stay strong. You can do this. If you are at the start of your journey, please have faith. It does get better. It will get better. Thank you once again and we'll chat soon. Bye.